Hello everyone! I thought I would make a video showing you what I use to record The Sims 4. At first I was using Fraps, but then it ended up just out of nowhere too. I think it's from the update or something. It started to get really laggy and jumpy while I was recording and it was driving me nuts. <laughs> so I went to my good old pal Google, as you do, and was trying to find something that was better than Fraps. And I finally found it! I'm actually using it to record right now. So not only does it take the place of Fraps for gameplay, but it also takes the place of Camtasia's screen recording software that comes with their editing program. And that's good because Camtasia, when you record audio with that, it's, you know, not the best. <laughs> so this new software is called Marillus Action. Here's their website. I will link it in the description. You can try it for free. And if you decide you want it, you can purchase it for $30, 30 USD. I think it is well worth the money. It has so many more options than Fraps does, and it's just great. It doesn't make your game lag like Fraps does sometimes. There's so much about it that is way better than Fraps. So this will be the first link in the description. The second link will be this video. This man goes into detail with all of his settings and what they're for, you know, and it's just a really great video. This is how I learned to use Marillus Action, so I definitely suggest you check this out by Mike the Penguin. So yeah, let me show you my settings now. Here is the first thing that you see when you open it up. This is video recording. I have my videos saved to a hard drive that I use specifically for recording. It shows you the videos that you have recorded. I don't have any here because I've moved them already. It shows you the duration of the video that you're recording. And over here you can set it to what you want it to record. So this will lock onto a game. I can't change it because I'm recording. This is different than his video. I think it's because his was made uh, like last year, mid-year, so they've done some changes, but this will lock onto a game, this will record the full screen, and then this one will record whatever you set it to record, so you can change the size of what you want it to record. And then here is all the settings. It's pretty much like his, except there's some things that he has that I don't, so there's some stuff that are a bit different than his, or things that I wanted different than his. The next tab is live. I have a code there so I'm not going to open it but I'm not going to probably use this anyway because I don't live stream, at least not yet. The third tab is audio recording. You can set to where you want to have your audio file stored and just, you know, settings that I don't really know if I touched except for record silence. I know I did that. And maybe always record microphone. I don't know. It He goes through it in the video. Benchmarking, you can set to where you want your benchmark saved. I don't use this. I know a lot of people do though, so it's nice that they have this in here. The fifth one is screenshots. I save them as PNG files because I like them better. I feel like they're higher quality and I just like working with PNG files. It also shows you your screenshots and you know, where you want them saved. <laughs> the last main tab, this first like sub tab, general settings, everything is not checked except for check for updates. Next one, video recording settings. I don't know if I changed any of these. Webcam settings, I don't have one set up, so I haven't done anything with this, maybe later, like in the future. Audio settings, some more audio settings. This is where you can change how much you want action to record your gameplay audio or audio from whatever you're doing and also your microphone. I still have to toy around with this and get my perfect settings, but this is just what it looks like. Next one is HUD settings. You can't see the HUD <laughs> right now because I have it disabled. I have it hidden during desktop recording, but I will take a screenshot and show you what it looks like. It's very small. Small, it's out of the way. It's not like this eyesore or anything. It shows you your frames per second. It shows you how long uh, you've been recording for, which is so handy. And it does show up in game when you're recording, so you can see how long you've been recording for. But I have mine set to do not record HUD in games and applications, so I can still see it while I'm recording, but it won't show up in the final video, you know. The next little sub tab is export settings. I don't even use that. And the last one are your key bindings or hotkey settings, sorry. I have 
F12 set to record and stop recording just because I had that in fraps and so I got used to it. So F12 for me to record a video and stop recording, you can of course set it to whatever you want. Record audio and benchmarking, I don't use that but I couldn't like disable it or whatever. Capture screenshots, F11. Um, again, I had that in Fraps, so that's just what I use. And then there's like a whole bunch of different settings that I don't feel the need to enable or use or anything. And then for webcam, I will probably use that in the future. I don't know. So yeah, this software is great. I would uninstall Fraps, but Fraps is the only thing that doesn't record The Sims 3 too dark for me, so that's the only thing that I use Fraps for now. I've heard of some ways that you can fix it so that things don't record too dark but I'm just too stubborn to like mess with my settings and stuff but it's fine. I have tested Merlis Action out on Hearthstone, Minecraft, The Sims 2, and of course The Sims 4 and it has worked perfectly fine. It's not laggy like Fraps can get sometimes. The only thing I use Fraps for now is The Sims 3 and I don't really have problems with Fraps in The Sims 3 so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. The first link in the description will be to the website where you can go and try this out and if you decide to buy it, I really do think it is worth the money. It's better than Fraps. <laughs> So much better than fraps and the second link will be to that man's video which is very very helpful it was made uh, over a year ago but I still found it very helpful and there's hardly anything that's different I mean there are some things different mostly because it has been updated or my computer stuff isn't the same as his but I think that's all I wanted to say in this video if I missed anything like forgot anything I will just write it out in the description so I will talk to you all later bye Hi everyone!